Okay, um, what can I do for you? Today I want to dive into another topic, roof. I'm not going to go into roof in so much detail, I'm just going to introduce the applicable roof tool and then show us how we can achieve different kinds of roof with that tool. So if you're not familiar with this channel, this is Akikad with Frank. Yeah, the guy who doesn't care about the fact that he doesn't know anything about content creation, but just feels like whoever needs to learn Akikad can come over here, learn something and move. Okay, so uh, I want to first of all just set up a small space. Um, I'm not going to care about the internal side of it. I'm going to assume it's, you know, supposed to be what a building might look like. Okay, not too ideal, uh, but works all the same. I think I'm just going to adjust it a bit more over here. Allow this to align. All right, so let's say this is the outline of a building and we want to roof it. I want us to be quite conscious about a few things in the building and for that I'll be showing us this section from another building I'm working on at the moment. You probably have seen it in one of my tutorials. <laughs> All right, so uh, our walls terminate over here. So there is some space here for ceiling noggins and afterwards we meet the roof. If you are going to have a concrete fascia like this before your roof, you need to also indicate it prior to your roof, okay? But I'm not going to spend so much time doing all of that in this case. Rather, I will just use a simple fascia board. Okay, so for the fascia board, it's going to have a base. Um, let me just quickly simplify that. I'm going to draw a slab, give it like 25 mm thickness for the likes of PVC ceiling. By the way, if you're wondering how I was able to draw all of this instantly, it's with the use of the magic wand tool. I held spacebar and then I clicked inside the space with the slab tool activated. Alright, so uh, six, uh, let's go, it's 900. I really love big fissures. Okay, so we have a fissure board. If you check over what we have on the 3D here, you can see that we have this. Not looking so beautiful yet, and <laughs> so beautiful is not yet the goal. So I want to move this, okay? But I mentioned between the fascia board and the roofing, there is, yes, you're right, the ceiling noggins are not here. Okay, but well, here works as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come duplicate this guy. The roof is not going to start here. That's technically wrong. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate it. Now there's two of it. And I'm going to take this second one. I press Ctrl D again. I'm going to take this second one and move it up 450, for example. It could be less. It could be more. Don't go below 300 though. And now that I have this, I'm going to draw my roof on top of this. But before I draw, draw that roof, we're not going to have this space hanging around, okay? So I'm going to fill it up with something. We're going to draw a wall, give it like small thickness, 25. By the way, technically, you shouldn't be using a wall for this. Morphs will be far better, but because of time, I'll not be using the morph tool. So rather than going around, you know, go around each of these individual spaces, I'm just going to hold this space bar again and... There, you can see our wall has come in, but there's a problem, it's too high, that's not what we needed. So, I'm going to select one, in case your auto grouping is not enabled, by auto grouping I mean this guy right here. In case it's not enabled, make sure it's enabled, so that if you select one and you hit this icon here, it selects all that were created by a single, ma um, by a single magic wand command. Okay, now reactivate it so you can edit all of them together because if you don't, the only option you have is to move them. So now you can see me being able to adjust all their heights at once and I'm going to just place it here. Okay, now that I have this, by the way, my mouse is hyperactive, so forgive it. Right, now that I have this, I'm going to switch this to grayscale because I said focusing on the aesthetics is not what I want to do in this video. The next thing I want to do now is to place the roof directly above this guy. Alright, so for that, I'm going to... Uh, bringing the roof too okay now i don't like using this composite tool because here in nigeria that i'm where i'm located we don't have composite roofs it's not like in some western countries where you see their roof having the main roofing sheet then it's going to have some insulation it's going no, no no we don't do that here here we just have only the sheets other things are the roofing members the wooden trusses the uh, the struts the rafters the tie beams the pole lines and all the other members you know basically these guys so one might want to ask, what are the composites of my roof? Well, here we can see the roofing sheet itself. Here we can see the pole lines. Here we can see the rafter. And then these are struts. Over here we have our um, noggins. That's the way roofing works here. And that's what I'm going to use for this video. All right, so come back here. I'm going to... Okay, I'm just going to go space and go again. By the way, 
I have the ability to edit the roof pitch right here, give it whatever angle I want. It's thickness, we don't have thick roofs. I'm going to use 5 mm and real life you're not gonna see a roof at 5 mm like why why should there be a roof at 5 mm that's really too thick set this offset to zero and if you're wondering how i'm moving here i'm just scrolling with my mouse okay all right so i'm also going to adjust this angle and i'll make this angle whatever i make this angle to achieve flatness now what i mean by flatness i'm going to draw the roof without that angle stuff i'm going to leave it at 90 and then when i'm done i'll show you what it implies when i change the angle so i'm just gonna hold space bar and click on this here and continue it says it can't see the roof on this floor because of its height so i need to drag it down here on the elevation you can see the roof appearing far above and we could just drag it if you feel that it's really awesome that akika just sees the boundaries of the roof and is able to help you generate a roof plan and the roof objects in 3d give a like to this video and give a like to akika as well those dudes are really trying all right so here we go now we have the building your roof as i said it's looking so beautiful wasn't isn't the goal but i'm an architect something if i'm doing something it has to be fine so let's just stress ourselves a bit Okay, so I'm going to click on this right here, click here, pick everything, okay? You know, the tick mark here, not this one, this one. Alright, so I'm going to press Ctrl X, go into the second floor and press Ctrl V and have this. What did that do? I just transferred everything to one floor above so that the ground floor is now empty. I'm going to show the upper floor as a trace reference and then come and draw walls on the ground floor and by the way i'm going to undo that i want normal walls not those very slim walls so i'm just going to come here hold alternate select on this click on this guy so that i can copy its properties to reuse and then i can come do this here and remember how i selected everything i will click on this guy it picks them all i click on it again it releases them but i didn't do that now because i could also do the same thing with alternate g on the keyboard all right so i'm going in by 375 so that overall it's like heavy cantilever of 600 and we'll check this out on the 3d now it looks uh, not so wonderful at least slightly better than that guy that looks like he was carrying a button that was heavier than him okay so now that we have this we can see we have the building roofed already but there's multiple approaches you might want to take to roofing you might not want only a hip roof like this i'm not going to there and deal with flat roofs in this video and by flat roofs i mean mono pitch roof and slab roof no, rather I'll focus on this hip roof, I'm going to focus on the Dutch roof, I'm going to focus on the gable roof and if the video is still under 10 minutes, it's almost 10 minutes already, alright, if it's still under 15 minutes by the time I'm done with that, I'll touch the gambrel, I'll touch the mansard. Alright, these are roofs that might sound strange to some of us and if you're not familiar with them, that's cool. Alright, so in case I did this and I want this face. You know this very dude right here i want it gabled what i'm going to do is come over to the ground um second story where the roof is located okay click on it select the roof then select the face i want to change to a gable are we okay with that then once i click right here it asks me what type do i want there and then i say gable okay and once i do this observe what happened the roof plan adjusted automatically and then we have this okay so if this is what I had wanted for this building, all I'll have to do next is just fill this space up with something and that will be that. So I could always use undo or I could just come back here, select this face, go in here and say, I'm sorry, not here, in here and say go back to a pitch roof, okay? Don't give me the gable anymore and we end up with this, okay? I believe that makes sense. All right. Um, the second one I want to touch is the Dutch roof, okay? So for the Dutch roof, I'm going to have to kind of create what I want to get on the roof, for example. What I mean by that is I want an offset from here to about 1.2 meters off. So I'm going to draw a line from here and measure 1, 2. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to also draw another line from here and I'm going to extend it to both edges. Okay. So what I want is for this particular triangle in the roof to terminate here and this one to extend this way and like that. So step one to get the Dutch roof. And you could do it for multiple parts of the roof, by the way. Step one is split the roof into multiple components or into multi segments. Into there's plenty of names for it, but single plane roofs, okay? So once I do this and I say okay, the implication is all of these will no longer be one roof. This face is different, you know. When I select it now, you can see Akika treats this as one roof, treats this as one roof, treats this as one roof, and so on and so forth. When you check out on the 3D, they still all look like it's the same thing. But no, Akika assumes when you 
try to do anything with them this guy is a different guy this guy is a different guy this guy is a different guy and so on and so forth so back to the adjustments i was saying i'm going to click on this face okay i'm going to click here and create a new node right here then drag this existing node to this point right here i'm going to do the same thing for this guy okay drop this here drag this down over here it's not yet done then this guy you see it still extends all the way here i'm just going to split it along this line take out this structure portion and delete it and then check out on the 3d i have this really interesting dodge effect right here and i could come fill this up with whatever i need to later on okay um so that's the way to do the dodge and if i want this to just be bigger rather than spend so much time thinking of all the adjustments all i need to do is come down here and drag this that's with the offset now a bit downwards maybe somewhere here um, let's just say 900 and then pick this guy just offset it down as well to this point 900 pick this guy this guy yeah and offset it as well and do well to make sure you clean these construction lines afterwards and here we have this okay so i've touched the hip roof the gable the dots um i'm going to attach one of another roof style but it won't be on this building rather i'm just going to draw a random Hmm. Wonderful. My proportions are not very architectural, <laughs> if that makes sense to any of us. Okay, I'm just going to let it intersect with this roof and no problem. Hmm. I think I'll just drop it here. Okay, so I'm going to drag this and you know, just drop it somewhere here. And to ensure that it's roughly on the same level with this guy, I'm going to copy these guys' properties and, you know, sorry, paste it into this guy. All right, so um, check out the roof. It looks normal. That's no mansard roof. This is a heat roof. A mansard roof is where you have multiple angles on your roof. And when you select the roof, go into the settings, then come to multi-plane geometry, okay? And say that this guy is going to have an elevation. Um, add something first. Say the first guy is going to have an elevation of one meter, okay? afterward you meet this guy with a different angle i'm going to drop this guy's angle to like 30 okay make this guy like 40 and let's see what that gives us for now now let's get something that will be a bit more obvious so at least we can be sure that this is not something that frank is just inventing it's something that is already in use by the chinese all right so 20 japanese more and now we have something looking real weird like this okay um i'm going to adjust that one meter height as well so that it shows up even more all right so you see it has an initial pitch of 30 degrees and then it gets here and then the pitch just suddenly changes and you could do that with multiple levels okay so if i have this i have um, 500 with 20 then i have 30 for another say um, 500 okay and then i add another one and this goes all the way to 40 with another 500 and add another one and this goes all the way to 45 another 500 probably the roof won't go that high but yeah i think we all get the point once i say okay we start getting this curvy effect that we see in japanese roofs for those of us who love k-drama and korean japanese movies you know their roofing traditionally gives this kind of curved effect. So if you have enough of these intervals, you could actually play around with something like that. So I'm going to bring this tutorial to a close here. Okay, for the next one, uh, let me find there is a job I would really want us to just see as, okay, yes. On the next one, I'm going to deal with the flat roof. I'm going to deal with how you get this multi-level roof. When I say multi-level, you observe that this region, I don't know if there's another render that shows it's better. Okay, this region is higher than this region, okay? If you're really interested in something like that, say, post it in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. Keep in mind, this channel is something I do as a hobby. If you guys want to encourage me and you find this content useful, just engage me in the comments and I'll be able to dedicate much more time consistently. And if you need help with anything at all, as far as Akikad is concerned, don't ever consider it too high. Whatever you think can be done with Akikad, hit me up. Challenge me. I'm open. I think I'll be able to answer just about anything. So, until next time, bye.